how much does your operator pick actually matter in Rainbow Six? Well, I don't think it really does all that much. I think there are operators that give you advantages and picking better operators will put you in better situations most of the time, but picking the worst operators isn't gonna be the end all be all of your gameplay. You can still do well with bad operators and that's what I'm setting out to achieve and show you today by playing Kali and Tachanka, two of the worst operators in the game. Now you might disagree with me there, you might not think that they're two of the worst, so put down who you think are the two worst operators in the game. I'm not saying Kali and Tachanka are the very, very worst, but they're definitely down there. Plus, after that April Fool's prank I pulled on you, we should probably give them a second chance. Now, one of the nice parts about playing operators that maybe aren't all that good is that they're never gonna get banned. So I should be set here, if I see a Kali or Tachanka ban in this, in champion ranked, I'm gonna be absolutely dumbfounded. Um, and really, I feel like I'm one of the few people that would actually ban them just as a joke, just to be funny, haha. -ha. But most people are gonna take the game pretty seriously in the highest rank in the game. So they're gonna ban Dokubi, they're gonna ban Ying, they're gonna ban whatever. And honestly, Kali, Kali's okay on Canal, like for that main wall. If you can get the util off that main wall and maybe destroy some utility, that's Kali's best ability is her ability but the sniper is something that i practically never want to use it's always something that's tempting to use like it's tempting to use the sniper because it feels really satisfying when you get a kill with it but then when you get screwed over because you're using it you realize oh i probably should have never been using it on along and using that smg just has a more aggressive and team play style where you can actually get in and work with your team and play off your teammates but when you're lurking back with a sniper you're just hoping they peek you and if they never do well firstly you'll never get a kill you're never going to gain control and it's just something that baiters like to play if they want to pad your stats if you want to pad your stats sure play cali um i'm actually kind of nervous i feel like i might get roasted for playing cali and tachanko like i feel like my teammates would be like dude what are you doing like you're literally throwing by playing these ups uh, and fair enough uh we'll see how it goes i'm hoping i can get a few kills because realistically, operator pick does kind of matter. Like, especially when you're solo queue, having extra information is really good. Having utility that you can make plays with. Like, Kali has two of the most useless utility, Claymores and Breach Chargers. Like, yeah, I'll get a Claymore if they run out into my Claymore. You know what I mean? So it's something that can help you kind of lock down an area, but it's not as effective as being able to pop flash someone and, and swing them while they're fully blind and getting a free kill. Because essentially, flashbangs just get you free kills. That's the way I see it. Um... But you might, you might think of that about Claymores. But then again, if you're in a lower rank, then the whole game is different. And yeah, maybe Claymores are a better pick for you, you know? You just got to play to whatever works. To whatever actually works, though. Works to win, not works to get you kills. Getting kills is not equal to winning. You can have a 1.5 KD and be stuck in bronze, okay? That's, 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 not, that's not good. That's not, you're trying to win. Ideally, that's what we're trying to do, right? We're trying to get better. We're trying to win. So... If I want to play Kali effectively, I'm going to try and get the wall denial off first, help my teammates get the wall open, and then I want to actually be taking space and gaining control. Now, all she really has for that is a gun and her drones, which I've already managed to lose because I somehow throw my drone into the building every time without thinking about it, which is a terrible habit. That's probably the worst habit I have in this game is the fact that I consistently drive my drone straight into the building and lose it. But it's not a bad habit if you're playing Yana every round because you have the clones and you have the extra info. Okay, that was close. Switch to the secondary here. Let's get aggressive on this guy. Not too aggressive, though. I'll probably claim more of this. Perfect. See, the claimers, he could also shoot, which is what it, what, it, what concerns me. Uh, I can't get up on this repel. I don't want to sit here too long, because, again, he could run out from below. Look, those are thermite, so so much for that. Using a sniper here, not the greatest idea, but I'm going to do it, because I think I'm the best. This is the biggest ego peak ever. And the fact is... This guy could slam me off this just as easily as I could try. I could slam him, so it's a little risky. Having the thermite dead definitely sucks. So now we have to find something new to do. We can't sit here forever. We can't bait for kills forever. We're going to have to make new ground somehow. And opening these windows might be a good start. Now this is an angle that the sniper can actually dominate. Sounds like this guy red. If he peeks close and crouched, I'm probably dead. That's all right. Let's see if we can get anything off this. Holding that side door. Diana. One stop green. It's a lesion. Can you come up green on this guy, Yana? Let's see if I can fight this lesion. I can use a, uh, the audio of this to maybe push in this doorway. Oh, he's in box, in box. I didn't realize there would be another guy in box. 
since the legion was green side i thought there would be another guy's site turns out there's only one site so yeah as we can tell cali did literally nothing for me that round uh because i'm completely relying on my thermite to do something and because he's dead i'm useless there you go i could use the smg maybe get a kill and I have one drone. I have a drone and SMG. That's my entire loadout once Thermite is dead. Yeah, I can take out a BP, like a bulletproof camera or something. I can shoot some Cali lances on walls. But I'm really not achieving anything with my utility. And there's really no opportunity for me to achieve anything with my Good utility. Good fucking job, pussy. Okay. Great work, teammates. Luckily, I have a team that can carry me. Because canal attacks are hard. But right there, like, if I'm about by those green windows, maybe I can use a flashbang or something to actually hop in off of or a yin candela, or like a grenade, any sort of utility that I can actually use to stun that guy, disorient that guy, and take the control, but Kali doesn't have that. So really, you have to adapt this baiting playstyle if you want to get kills, and that baiting playstyle isn't congruent with actually playing with your teammates and being aggressive. So there's some concern there. However, we're going to hop back on the Kali. There's still things we can do. Kali has a nice like rush tactic, right? If you have teamwork, Kali can be okay. Like you could do like a rush off a barricade by shooting it open for your teammates. Um, of course, you can destroy some other utility with it and stuff. I might be able to actually use a lance on the trench door and get like the ADSs beside it. Sometimes you can get the things beside the doorway with the lance. So actually using it on barricades works. Now it looks like they went top floor again. So we're going to try to get the wall this time. Hopefully Thermite can uh, get some action in there. The thing about Kali too is she will destroy your Harbreeze tools. So you have to be careful when you actually use them because you don't want to accidentally destroy your teammates' Harbreeze tools. So it's a little, uh, you know, it's a little problematic, but it's okay. Like Thatcher would just be a much better option and Thatcher is on the board here, so I could do that. Now, she does actively destroy the gadgets, which is nice. Like if I destroy a couple bandit chargers, then I know he only has two more and hopefully I can use the rest of my lances to break all them. That way he can't trick, but... If you only get three, well, he's still got a bandit charge to trick with, and now you're kind of in a rough spot. So we'll try, we'll try to break as much as we can, and that also relies on thermite, like actually putting his uh, thermite charge down at the right time, picking it up, so I don't destroy it if I'm trying to actively break those bandits as he's tricking. So I head to the breach again. I'm gonna watch for this run out again. Might get a freebie if he tries to do it. I'll put a claimer facing straight into the barricade, so if he rips it down instead of impacting it, it's gonna instantly blow him up. Which is kind of cool. You have to be careful with this reception. Window. Nothing on the wall. Might as well go play more off the run out on this side. Some people will try to do this. This is a pretty old run out. People do this in like Emerald and stuff. In Champ though, people tend to give it up because it's normally claim order or someone's watching it. But it could still work. It's still an effective run out that you could do. So there is this. This guy hugging a pixel peak here. I might be able to peek him with the lance. I'm gonna keep on this angle and hope he peeks it again. Might be able to clap him off of it. Okay, they have the Fenrir, which kind of sucks. Where is that Fenrir? I can actually shoot this. I'm surprised that actually got me, but it's fine. So we have a, we have the man advantage, so I don't need to push right now. I might be able to take out this guy on sight. I might be able to just walk in and peek him. Oh, and there's a guy underneath. One underneath in the hatch. He's holding the hatch from under. Unfortunate. Did not know Solus was down there. We had a buck down there. Yo, Buck, Solus is underneath, dog. You must recover the diffuser. I don't think he really cares. He could get flanked. Um, but I guess he's not going to listen to my call-outs either way. Yeah, now now he dies to the Solus that he didn't. Okay, well. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe your offer pick does matter because picking Kelly is clearly completely fucking me right now. Uh-oh, 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 SpaghettiO, uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Maybe I played too aggressive trying to get picks off the info. I guess you I guess you do just have to adopt that baiting playstyle. Like, maybe that's just the thing. Maybe you just can't push with Cali, which is very, very sad. Because you want to be able to make plays when you have the opportunity to do so. But then again, bit of a missed drone, bit of a misplay, so it's on me at the same time. However, my options are very, very limited because of my lack of utility, right? I have to either push the breach or push Skybridge. And other than that, I have nowhere I can push because I don't have the util to do so. So we'll try this trench door thing that I was talking about. Might be able to break a little bit of like utility. Might be able to help the team in a little bit in that way. Maybe we could go scuba afterwards or walk in trench door. Like that's the thing. Like I'm just going to have to walk in somewhere with a pocket SMG at some point. 
because I don't have really, I need to save my drone, have two drones so I can have a little more info. So I'm going to pick my drone up. We're at the, we're at the drone phase. I can pick it up. I can save it and use it. Um, I don't think the problem was a lack of drones last time. Cause I got my drone on site, saw the play, went to make the play, just messed it up. So it's honestly, it's honestly fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll be okay. You know, we'll chill out. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. Hey, chill. Hey, stop. Stop right not coming. Hey, I'll smack you boy. All right, pick up the drone. Don't, don't I almost drove her straight in that drone hole. I almost got distracted. <laughs> lock in, boys. Lock in, okay? Stay locked in, but have fun. I think that's that's the key. All right, they have the Solus again. Solus super annoying. Like, how can you compare Tachanka to Solus? Like, really? You know what I mean? Solus gets rid of, like, so much info, so much, like, potential that the attackers have. And then you have Tachanka who's like, I have gun, go shoot, pew, pew. My ability ass, don't use my ability, just use gun, shoot, shoot, pew, pew. If you're only picking off for a gun, you've, you've got you've got bigger bigger problems uh, than, uh, than what operator you're picking. I can guarantee you that. Because picking ops isn't about the gun. I'm going to say it. Picking ops is not about the gun. So I'll try to get some things through this door. And as you see, I got the FNAT, I got the barbed wire, I got a concussion mine. So that is one nice use for... Um, for the Cali. And this is reinforced off, which means I can push in here <clears throat> without having to worry about the holes on the left. So they don't have a crossfire if I do push in, which is nice. And this L is back in bathroom and the Fenrir is there as well. There's two there. I might be able to, might be able to contest this. Who knows? We'll try. I'll play more in case I miss and they try to run out on me. I'm kind of just dry peeking at this point. This is a very easy pre-fire. Oh, I got the kill. Let's go. I'm in an easy pre-fire for them, but he did not shoot. So that's that's nice for me. All right, we got a kill. Nice little one shot down on that guy. Oh, my teammate grenaded me. Getting here with the SMG. Let's see what we can cook. Where's that Fenrir at? I'm not sure what Deimos is shooting at. Eventually, I'm going to have to push. They have the Ella, and then the Fenrir is probably bathroom side. And I got shot off the pre-fire. That's unfortunate. I tried to get past him to fight the bathroom guy. I figured the bathroom guy was Fenrir. Got me with a little quick lean tap, but uh, there's some Cali gameplay for you. Just not much you can do besides pray. I think that's just the problem with Cali is you're just you're just hoping for shit to happen, and it's never going to happen, right? I'm just hoping. I'm hoping eventually they run out the trench door on me. That would be nice, you know? I'm hoping that I can sit and spawn with a sniper rifle for 40 minutes and they all peek me. It's just hope. It's cope. It's copium. You're copiuming. All right, let's go to Chanka now. The another great operator. So basically, uh, I've explained this many times in other videos. I have a video where I go over Smoke versus Tachanka and explain Tachanka's ability in depth. But Tachanka's ability does nothing. Even when you think it's doing something, it does nothing unless you have like three or four fires in a row because they can just walk through it. It does barely any damage. Um, it really is very, 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 very niche situations where the ability is actually useless or useful. And most of the time, you're much safer and at much less risk by just not using it and holding the angle the instead bomb. because it can only cut up, contest one angle and because you can't hold another angle while contesting that angle because you have to keep replacing the fire and reloading. You might as well just hold that angle with your gun. That, that is essentially what, what Tachanka is at his core. However, his LMG is very good. So, that's the that's the upside. is You can do a ton of damage with this thing and do all the sight setup, which has already been done. So, there we go. There, half my job has been done by my teammates, and I didn't need Tachanka in the first place. But, I'm still going to try to get kills. Like, places you just play them by holding angles, shooting people. You can use the fire occasionally. Like, I don't really use it, but I might. I might get to the point where it's like, oh, I'll just, I'll just try to do a little bit of damage or waste some time on the breach or etc etc it is good like over top of breaches where you can um like fire over the over top of the breach and maybe do a little bit of damage on thermite but most of the time yeah you're in a you're in a rough spot when you play chunky boy i'm not a big advocate as you can tell hence why i'm playing cali to chonka is because i think they're the worst two of the worst not maybe not the worst but two of the worst for sure their situationalness is maxed out, essentially. Like, they are extremely situational to the point where picking them makes no sense because you could just pick someone who does basically the same job in a better way. All right, so it's 4v4. 
We don't have any info for red because I didn't put barb on it. Oh, we do have barb on it. Nice, nice. So they're just kind of spamming bullets, which is how I died last round. I walked into a, a non-lucky pre-fire. It sounds like there's a guy underneath, though. He shot the camera. I'm going to swing off the barbed wire if he pushes it. We're on defense, so we do have a bit of an advantage just because they have to push into us, and we don't have to push into them. So I don't have to like be blindly pushing them with the chunk, which is nice, compared to the Cali. We have a teammate underneath. He got the guy underneath. That's nice. We have this frost map behind me, so I don't have to worry too much. There's one on the far rappel of the breach if you want to kill him from reception. Actually, I'll go get him. So this guy's on the breach rappel, He's so up, I can yeah, actually kill him from that window. Far away. The diffuser's the down on the ground. I oh, no, I killed the rappel guy. Okay. The diffuser's down outside. This guy could push in. Gotta be careful. Nice, alright. So we got a kill. Definitely can rack up the kills with the Tachanka. I just think that we could rack up the kills with anybody on defense and have better utility and information to do it, essentially. I have no idea what this guy's saying, but uh, it's cool. It's cool. Alright. Alright. Um, listen, listen. I'll be rooming upstairs. Maybe you need help upstairs. I'll be playing with the hatch is open, though. Be afraid of it. Can Watch somebody and translate? Windows. Can somebody translate in the comments? Earth, I have no earth, idea what earth, this guy earth. said. Hatch open, scuba, and trench. I think he meant he's going to roam upstairs and open the hatches, and then we we need, just need to worry about trench and scuba. Heard that. Heard that, man. We're locked in. We're ready. All right. You know, if the teammate wants to work with you, work with the teammate, you know? Put some barbed wire on the stairs. Put some barbed wire on the window. Make a little uh, sight setup. This will let us contest. Can we do this the other way already? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this will let us contest scuba from here, so we can play on this reinforcement and actually peek it if we need to. Hold yellow as well. We can make some head holes. These are really strong for holding main stairs. We have the rotate. Reinforce these walls off so we don't they don't get a lethal angle from main stairs on the site. Let's have to play site a little safer. And then again, I typically like opening this, but our team has already reinforced it, so what can you do? This is a spot where the Tachanka fire actually might be useful, like using it under this barricade just to waste time on them from actually sitting out there. Or if they're on a drone around the corner, might be able to do some damage onto them. Um, so this is actually, this is not too bad of a site for Tachanka. It could be worse, but I'm basically saying that because this is where the Tachanka fire might actually prove itself to be useful to some degree. But then again, we have nobody watching Scuba, so I do have to worry about that as well. They have a knock outside Scuba window. It doesn't. Oh, they are coming. Here. The other thing is, it is a little risky to shoot my fire because I have to peek it in order to shoot it. So I am exposing myself to shoot my fire out there. I'm just gonna keep wasting time with it. I'm probably gonna use as many as I can here until I miss the door a couple times. The Rooney Gate is not helping. They found the bomb, so I gotta worry if they just walked in. That's there goes our vertical guys, so that's going to be making our life a little harder. So I am a little exposed right now because I have holes above me and I'm reloading. So I'm going to stop using my ability now because it's, it's time is, it's time is pass. LMG, LMG. Alright, having a lot of ammo is nice though. You like that shit? Call me daddy. I don't know what that means, but yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, so we got some kills with the LMG and they just they kind of blundered there. They got fucking folded. I mean The LMG is nice for doing damage, that's for sure. Same thing. Walk at him. He doesn't know for sure if he's scuba. I don't know where it he sounds is. Like? In the hallway, in the hallway. Uh, All right, nice. nice. Okay, good work, good work. He dropped his sisters, right? So, yeah, big 1v3. I mean, that was just mainly them 
uh, playing it poorly. Like they gave me a bunch of individual gunfights. That buck was droning himself instead of somebody else droning him in. So because of that, I was able to take the one-on-one -on -one gunfights, get the one-on-one -on -one kills, and yeah, get a pretty sick 3K, to be fair. <laughs> it was pretty sick. I mean, and to be fair, that's something you can only really do with the LMG where you have that extra, extra mag to be able to take multiple fights back to back to back. Like if I'm playing someone else there, instead of peeking the Yana, I'm gonna go back and reload and gym first and then go back for another kill or try to fall off. So I was at a point where it's like, I kinda, I kinda sh can just keep peeking them. So I'm gonna do it. And I won my gunfights. I didn't get headshot. And you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it doesn't. That was just, I would honestly chalk that up to Secure getting lucky lock. right there. But the fact that the LMG does so much damage is what helps. Because if they're not going to headshot you, you're going to win the gunfight on the body. Because it does so much more damage than the other guns. However, in my rank, most of the time you get headshot. Well, maybe like half the time. So just a little bit of added risk there. Because you're not really headshotting people with this gun. It's because it's a slow rate of fire. It does so much shot damage to the body that most of the time you want to be aiming at the body. Just to stay fairly consistent, I would say. Because if you're just whiffing around their head, you could... Take it, hit it. You might have an even higher time to kill than you would if you uh, just aim for the body, right? Because it's like two bullets in the bed. So we're going to reinforce off these. Play up top for a little bit. Um, we have the info for bottom red with the barb. So I'm just going to kind of lurk over here and try to take fights yet again. I mean, you don't have a lot of info, so you kind of have to go looking for the fights when you're playing Tachanka, especially when you're solo, because you might not be getting the callouts. Uh, our teammate, one, our one teammate is giving callouts, which is pretty nice, but we'll see how it goes. So the, the war is outbreaking in the chat. What is new? Absolutely nothing. So they have a couple guys spawn over here, so they might actually try to come across Skybridge. So I might actually just push up and contest it off the start just to actually get myself into a gunfight because that's kind of all I got going for me. Fire this off and then pre-fire it. That's one. Upsy now I can actually retake this, hopefully. Sounds like he just vaulted in. That is really unfortunate timing, because I just reloaded. I was not expecting that. I'm not sure how he knew I was there. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. He just saw me reloading. But that's all good. If I wasn't reloading, that's actually a free kill, just on the fact that they're not droning alone. You can do that with any operator. You don't have to be Tachanka. But you can see how I could actually use my fire there to force that guy away from the window if he vaulted in. And because I heard him vaulted in, I knew he'd be away from the window, so I can pre-fire off the fire. So that's, that is one nice use of his abilities. You can actually use it to pre-fire people, essentially. You force them out of a spot with it, and then you can pre-fire them with that big, heavy-duty LMG. Now, it is a 1v3. Maybe Vigil can win this. I don't have any cams for him. He's getting thrown. He, he gets Vigil, but... uh. He's going to shoot the drone instead. Reloading is smart here because he's got that 1v3. He's going to have to take out two with his Bashi, hopefully. Uh, he thinks I'm cheating. Okay, nice. Another, che another hack accusation. Everybody thinks I'm cheating these days. I think I'm that good. I'm getting traced to the wall and pre-fired. I mean, to be fair, he could only be in one spot because of where I fired off. But he got clapped. Moral of the story. Moral of the story. When you're the greatest gamer, you can think you're cheating. Nice. He's got to push up here. Oh, nice try, dude. All friendlies were eliminated. Yeah, I'm. I'm clearly not cheating. I'm literally the best player of all time. Hooks, I'm hyper, bro. Get the fuck up. <laughs> oh, it's hypers. I'm hydra. <laughs> I'm hydra. Oh, hydra, hydra. What's up, dude? Yeah, yeah. I literally know this guy. <laughs> Feeling. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. What's up, dude? Yeah, I'm cheating. By the way, I'm the best. You are <laughs> I'm really playing Kali and Tachanka, and this guy thinks I'm cheating. I don't know what to tell him. Uh, okay, I, I was actually roasting my friend the whole time. What's up, Hydra? Shout out, shout out to Hydra. What a beast. This guy's a Mexican. Uh, I think he's Mexican. He's either Mexican or... Yeah, I think he played in um, Mexican um, Challenger League. Maybe Mexican Pro League, even. But he might live in the U.S. He might live in the U.S. and just be Mexican. I don't know. He's a cool guy. Moral story. Played this guy, this guy for a long time. Used to play competitive with him and ranked and stuff. So he's a cool, he's a cool a dude. Um, 
Let's get back to it. We got Callie now. We only got one kill with Callie. So Callie was, was rough. Callie's are rough. I think I need to adjust my play style with Callie a little bit. So that way I'm kind of baiting my teammate and playing more off my teammates for info. So instead of pushing in myself, I'm going to try and hang back and play off my team and use them to get kills. So I should be able to push with my team when they push and kind of trade their bodies. That way I can almost use them as like human drones. Um, and this is the good form of baiting, right? There's baiting where you sit outside the map and do nothing the entire round. And then there's baiting where you push with your team and you're trading them out. And you're you're essentially pushing right behind your teammate in order to use them to gain kills and gain control and gain trades. Um, that's the good form of baiting. So yeah, don't be the guy that sits in spawn baiting. Be the guy that pushes in baiting. Um, yeah. Or let your teammates bait you, you know? Hey, push in behind me. Push in behind me. Like, just trade me. Just trade me. You know? Stuff like that. So we're going to do the same thing on this door, but we're going to go scuba side this side. So I didn't get anything on the door this time. I might just use my uh, use my lance to get this barbed wire. Use it for something, right? Add some pressure to the gates there. They might worry that I'm out there. And then I can rotate scuba <coughs> and maybe uh, make some plays on this side. So I'll get a drone in here. Did I lose my other drone? I did. I forgot about it again. I failed the mission again. There's nothing actually in here. Yo, Ash, don't blow that. Don't blow that. So I can actually take scuba off of that. Play more of this ladder and then hop on a drone. I should be good. I do have a solace, so they're probably gonna know I'm here. Yep. I don't wanna peek because I'm a little scared. And he has a P90, which is also terrifying. I could drop down here, but then I'm gonna be stuck there, so that's probably not a great idea. I can push off this floor as drone now. There we go. We got the trade off the Flores drone. Yeah, nice drone, dude. Let him know. Okay, so we can probably bait this Ash now. Or I can just burn this gate for the Ash. Firing level. Make it make it worthwhile. He's plus left on the wall. Nice call. And there's the trade off the teammate. So that's the good baiting, guys. That's the good baiting. The sniper is not great at this range. I'm gonna hold the yellow flag. He dropped There's the ash. He dropped. Upstairs. He dropped. I'm out of ammo. I hear him. Flores, he dropped. I was going to scoop up behind you, maybe. Must recover the diffuser. All right, one inside. One out, four remaining. Last one below. Last one below. He's going. He's going on the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, he's stuck in there. Just hold him. The other side's Claymore. Yeah, we're planting. The diffuser is now secured. I Claymore burned off his bathroom door as well. Right. Cranking this plant, he's stuck over there. Uh, keep holding the, the, the stairs behind you, Flores, because there is a claimer. I'm gonna play off the claimer. If he looks at the claimer, I'm gonna kill him. Never mind, I'm just gonna go up. I'm gonna make some floor holes here. Nice, cool. I was gonna make holes in the floor of my sniper so I could watch the defuse. Oh, the game is still going. That was only the first round of OT. I thought that was the last round. Good job, dog. So yeah, that's how, that's the good baiting. We actually perfectly, we did it perfectly. I'm so happy. I, I was like, yeah, let's do this. And then we did it and we got multiple kills that way. So that's great. You know, we baited off the oh, Flores drone. I mean, we baited off the Ash up, oh, and then fine. held the flank, the just played it smart, played it slow, did a little more better Cali stuff, I would say. So that actually worked out very well. So I'm, I'm happy with that pops, round. You, you hold site. All right, I'll hold the site. Hell yeah. He keeps talking to me in another language, so I just I just don't know what to tell him. Protect the bomb. Spanish. I mean I'm assuming it's just Spanish, but uh maybe it's not. I'm from Canada. We don't learn Spanish here, okay? I don't even know what it sounds like. I've never been to Mexico. I've never I don't know. I don't know nothing. I'm uncultured, guys. Sue me. Sue me, I'm uncultured. I play video games for a living. What do I do? I don't know. Explore the world and make videos for my laptop? Stupid. Who would do that? That would be actually really sick. I could do that. Um, but you know, I love my family. I love my home. I, I, I'm, I'm planning on it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's focus on the game. Let's focus on the game. Same site setup. We went over this already. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to get a triple kill walking around the map with no info, so I'm not gonna be doing that again. But yeah, this closet setup is what we're talking about. This is what, this is what we like. This is what Poxy likes. 
likeys. Poxy? Poxy likey. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Um, we have the Frostmite here in the Malusi, so I shouldn't have to worry about the Malusi going off. I like this Fenrir setup upstairs. Hopefully, we can close out the game here. And as you can see, clearly the operator pick does not matter because I am 9-4. and four. I mean, there's certain situations where it would be beneficial. It would help. But it's not the end of the game. It's not the end of the world, I should say, if you have an operator that might not be as good as some other ones. Yes, other ones would give you more of an advantage most of the time, but that doesn't mean you can't do well with these other ones. And sometimes you just have to change up your play style, your philosophy. It's a drone and bathroom, Campion. I got it. Now we can even make vert holes with Tichonka, which is nice. I can hold your door there, Fenrir, from underneath. This is a nice little angle. So the vert, the vertical destruction is really nice as well, especially when it's on the fly and so useful. I'm just gonna fly, fire this off. They may have drone me. I can't watch your door anymore. Oh my French. This is something we talked about yesterday with pressure. If you watched yesterday's video, the pressure of that door doesn't allow me to sit here and hold this as confidently. And now that he's dropped down, I have to definitely watch it. Drone me out. I'm gonna fire it. Don't get caught with my launcher out though. It clear me up, juice. I just have her. I have the Malusi so I can peek off of. We have a No, I can't because again, more pressure. Yellow. It's not ready for me on the opposite side. Diffuser's down. I broke the Malusi, but that's okay. You watch the main stairs cam. All right, might win the game for the boys here. Op four, last operator standing. Firing grenade. I killed the guy, Trench. Sounds like more. he's above Maybe somewhere. The you the might be hearing above? me in bathroom. You're hearing me in bathroom. I'm gonna hold Trench. Play it pretty aggressive. This is a nice little pixel. Should be able to body shot him to death before he can kill me, unless he hits the nastiest pre-fire of his life. It's pretty uh, the right. We're good, we're good. He also doesn't have diffuser. Raise yourself! Launch it to Mika! Loading magazine! I'm gonna go back to bathroom now, so yeah, I can go to the again. Mainsters may be sleeping. Dang it. Ten seconds. Mainsters. That kind of mainsters. I'm just gonna hide. He doesn't have time to plant. He doesn't have time to get the diffuser and plant. I wrote inside maybe. And we won the game. Hell yeah. Jeez. 11 and 4 on Cali to Chonka. That is pretty solid. And we even got the hack usation. Good game, bro. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess the operator picks really doesn't matter after all. Go watch part two on my game channel. We'll see if the theory holds up there. Peace out, boys.